And I can tell you, we've been open about two and a half weeks here, and it's been an absolutely tremendous experience to see people that I haven't seen for a long time. And um, this one couple I can think of particularly were in the dining room. They must have been well into their 70s or 80s or whatever, and uh, I said, how did you learn about Gino? She said, well, we were driving by. Come on up, coach. She said, we were driving by a couple of weeks ago, and we noticed that it, the Gino sign, it looked like the same Gino sign, so she said, yeah, you can dress Gino up. <laughs> so, last week he had flour all over him. Um, so she said, she said, you know, she said, my husband and I used to date each other from when we were teenagers, and every Friday night he would take me to Gino. She said, so I feel like a little girl again. I mean, how do you capture that kind of thing? So, Coach, come on up here and give us a hand with uh, cutting the official ribbon that unleashes this new Gino venture of ours. Oh, uh, you know what I wanted to do, Lou and Bab? Could you step up? And uh, Nan, could you step up? Party, you want to step up? I can't sit down. Oh, you just sat down. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the township managers? You guys want to come on up? Board of directors, more people and names that I can ever remember. Thank you for thank you for coming. Okay, um, Charlie, are you going to give the word, or do I give the word, or what happened? Ready? Go! Well, thank you, everybody, again for coming and for making such making this such a wonderful event for us. Great job! Thanks so much. Oh,